Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a massive Goodwill outlet haul. Off the top of my head, I don't even know how many pieces it is. I'll probably put it in the title or description of this video so you can check that out. But this is all from the Goodwill bins, Goodwill outlet, whatever you wanna call it. At my outlet location, I do pay $1.99 per pound plus the cost of tax. So if you're curious what my costs look like, there you have it. Um, I was able to get some shoes and some clothing. I didn't really get many or any accessories, which is like one of my favorite things to go through and purchase. But yeah, they just hadn't been rolling it out recently and you're really just at the mercy of the bins. So I will show you the one accessory item that I purchased and that is this caboodle. So if you are a child of the 90s, you will recognize caboodle. They have reissued these. So I'm not exactly certain how old mine is. It, Looks like it could be from the aughts. I don't know if it's from the 90s, but anyways, it's in really great condition. I have sold caboodles before, and this will probably go for, I'm guessing between 30 to $40. Okay, next, I'm gonna show you shoes. If you're not interested in looking at the shoes and seeing what I got, I will put chapters down in the description so you just can skip forward past this. But <laughs> to get it started, I did clean, I think all of them. <laughs> So the first pair that I have to show you are these pair of like slingback heels from Banana Republic. They are a size, I can't even see, size seven. So here's the funny part or not funny part, I don't know. They say not for sale, visual. So the visual department at this Banana Republic location, this is what they use probably to, you know, style with the mannequins at the front of the store. Actually, it even goes as far as to say mutilated samples on the bottom here. I don't know what that means. I mean, like I know what mutilated means, but these are not mutilated. They're actually in really nice condition. So I think I tried scrubbing this with just like soap and water and it didn't come off probably because it's a Sharpie. I haven't tried using Goo Gone. I suppose I could do that. Maybe this is what they mean by mutilation. There is a hole right there, like a hole punch, but they didn't punch all the way through. Like I'm feeling both of them and the, the hole punch didn't go all the way through. So they're in otherwise really nice condition. So yeah, these little sling back heels. Okay, next item. These are just fun and nostalgic. And to be honest, I can't remember what I comped them at. They are saltwater sandals. If again, if you grew up in like the 80s or 90s, you probably had a pair of these. And yeah, I just couldn't resist. So I grabbed them. I don't know what they'll sell for. I'm guessing maybe around 20. I don't know, maybe more. I think there are five. They see five on the bottom here. So I'm gonna guess that it's a five. Okay, next is a pair of Birkenstocks. These are actually in really great condition. So I did clean them up, but they didn't really need much cleaning. They are a size 42. So I think that's like a 10 or an 11 which is funny because I own these exact same ones at home. So I did clean the soles here, so they don't look too bad. I mean, there is, you know, the toe marking, this one not as prominent as this one, but anyways, yeah. And then I just laid them out to dry. These are the matte black style of Birkenstocks. And then here you can see on the bottom, the tread is in pretty good condition, somewhere right there, but not that bad and not really any on the front toe. Awesome, wonderful. <laughs> okay, next is another pair of leather sandals and this is the brand Mephisto. And this actually, this brand retails for quite a bit of money. So yeah, I was quick to snatch these up. In terms of sizing on these, I'm guessing that they're probably a 10 or an 11 is what they look like. Okay, again, a size 42. So I think that's a 10, which is my size. They look like brand new. Don't they look new? I mean, the toe markings say that they're not, but, but that's okay. All right, next, I have a pair of boots. These are, they say Vibram on the bottom, but I believe that's just the soles. They're actually, why can't I find it? I feel like they're Eddie Bauer. <laughs> Where do they say? I know one of them said, <laughs> okay. It's also my lighting here is not that great, so I can't see. Okay, okay, yeah, they say Eddie Bauer on the inside here. So somewhere around here, oh my gosh, on the back. There we go, Eddie Bauer. So these are a size seven and I purchased them, honestly, because they're in such great condition. 
I don't often see Eddie Bauer shoes. I see Eddie Bauer clothing all the time when I'm at the bins, but if you look here at the bottom, I mean, that doesn't look used. And I did clean them up, but even when I had cleaned them, they looked amazing. The only place that kind of shows wear is on the fur part here, but I mean, I can just brush that out. So anyways, definitely not the season for these. However, you know, fall and winter will be here sooner than we like to think. Ooh, I hate saying that, sorry. Okay, next is a pair of boots that, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have purchased them, but I did, here we are. So they are from the brand Ugg, and they kind of just reminded me of like a clog boot. And so, I don't know, I got them. They're Sherpa lined, which feels appropriate because they are Ugg, and then they are size, let's see if I can read, size five. So I did wipe them down as much as I could, and then I did take the Doc Martin Wonder Balsam to them and just kind of, it's not an oil, but I feel like I oiled them. Basically, I oiled the leather. So yeah, here, but here's the thing. I think, yeah, the bottoms, not that great. I don't know. <laughs> so it looks like somebody replaced the heel on this side and it's kind of crooked, but it's not glued on there. I don't know. Let's just hope I can get my money. I, I know I can get my money back on these, but maybe like a little bit more than my money back. Let's wish for that. Okay, these, I didn't comp. I don't know this brand. I don't think it's probably that nice or that fancy. It's called Arte Mia, A-R-T-E space M-I-A. But they're just this rose gold sandal. I don't know, I just thought they were really fun. And if they were my size, I would keep them. They're in pretty good condition. In terms of sizing, they are a, I don't know, it says 24 on the back in there. I don't know what a 24 means. So yeah, I'll, I'll get it figured out. If I had to guess, they look like maybe a six or a seven, but for all I know, they could be a five. Okay, next, <laughs> speaking of smaller shoes, I did pick up these kids' shoes. They are Vans, they do have laces, but it's just like the stretchy lace, so you can still just slide into them. And then I thought they were fun because they are National Geographic covers. Look how cute that is. And then they were in pretty good condition. So if you look here on the bottom, this is kind of to be expected with any sort of kids items, whether it is shoes or clothes, especially the smaller the child. Oftentimes they just have a lot of clothes. They don't get a lot of use out of them. And so, yeah, you know, they're walking around barefoot, whatever the case might be. So these looked pretty good. I did clean them with Magic Eraser. And then I've been using the Grandma's Sneaker Cleaner. So I, tip, I typically use the Grandma's Stain Remover Cleaner, but I've been using the Sneaker Cleaner on shoes and it actually works really well. So these look darn near new. Okay, next, I picked these up because, I don't know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if people are buying Ed Hardy. I know that it's kind of popped back up in recent years. So I grabbed these, they're like a slip-on style. You know, they look like they have no laces and everything. They are a coated canvas. And for the most part, the coated canvas is in really good condition, except for on the other one, at the top of the tongue there, there is some discoloration. I don't really know how you treat that necessarily. I don't know that you actually can treat a coated canvas. I did clean up the, you know, rubber around the sides as best as I could. And then the bottoms actually look pretty nice. I mean, I don't know. Kudos to me. I think I did an okay job. These are a size seven. So yeah, we'll put these, I don't even know, somewhere down here. Oh, I see an item. Okay. I have another item <laughs> to share down here, but let me get through the shoes. Okay. Another pair of Birkenstocks. These are, oh my gosh, I think a 38, if I'm remembering correctly. It was printed on the inside here, but once I started scrubbing, I think I scrubbed away the gold sizing. But I remember saying to myself, note to self, these are a size 38. So yeah, same style. It's the matte black, which I think is really nice, but that's because I own a pair. These definitely have more wear on them. So I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Here we are. All right, I'll put that there for a second. Okay, and then the last pair of shoes that I grabbed, I feel like I comped these and thought they were interesting enough to grab. Maybe I didn't comp them well enough. They're a pair of fit flops. I feel like these were really popular in the late 2000s aughts, 
Is that what we call it? The late aughts. You know, it was like those Skechers shoes, like Skechers shape ups, fit flops, all these shoes that I think that their whole thing was like, you create an imbalance with the shoe and it was somehow supposed to make you lose weight. Please comment below if you owned a pair and you swear by these, cause that's awesome if they truly work, but I don't know how that would cause you to lose weight. I don't know, right? When you just get really big calves, that's what I'm thinking, you just get really big calves. So these are in pretty nice condition, probably cause they don't really work. And <laughs> in terms of sizing on them, these are, a size, I think it says eight, it's kind of cracked. But okay, so the other accessory item really quick before we get into the clothes, and there's a lot of them guys, is uh, a big old bin, I guess I'll just lift it up. So I washed them, I don't know what that is. And I put them in a mail bin, because <laughs> that's all I had around, of Legos. I don't even know how many pounds this is. Conservatively, I'm gonna guess ooh, that it's maybe six pounds, possibly more all sorts of different pieces. So it was kind of a slower time when I was at the bins, they weren't doing a rotation. And I walked over to one of the bins that was like the rotation was mostly toys. And so I started just kind of looking through it. I saw all these Legos just scattered at the bottom. Well, you know, a single Lego doesn't have much value, but a lot of Legos altogether does. People do like purchasing them in bulk. So off the top of my head, I don't know what X amount of pounds will garner me, um, but I, I don't think it'll be too bad. So yeah, if you have Legos laying around, you know, I feel like there's like few things in life that kind of really appreciate well and, and Legos are, are one of them. Okay, so I'm gonna move these to the side. We'll get started on the clothes. First clothing item. I'm nervous what this is. I feel like there's a lot of pressure when I, actually let me move the shoes too. When I start showing you the clothes, like they have to be they have to be really good. I'm just throwing the shoes on top of the Lego bin for right now. Okay, move this. All right, that's all moved out of the way. Oh, this is a fun one, but it is flawed, but it's still fun. So it's a vintage t-shirt. It is Warner Brothers Studio Store, size extra large. Who's old enough to remember the Warner Brothers stores? Those were just as fun, if not more fun than the Disney stores. So anyways, it's got Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck playing tennis. There is some discoloration throughout the shirt, I think. This is a size extra large. I'm gonna assume it's probably a men's extra large. But yeah, just a cool shirt. I didn't comp it. It was just like one of those, those purchases that it's like, okay, this is just really fun. It's vintage maybe it'll be worth something. All right, next item I have to show is a pair of jeans. Okay, these I looked up. So this was in a bin that had been looked over a bunch of times. That's what the logo looks like. It's They're called nudie jeans. And I had to look it up because I saw them sitting in the bin and I was like, these kind of look nice. You know, you can just tell when there's just nice denim. That's why it's good to not wear gloves at the bin so you can really feel things. So I did look them up and these do retail for a few hundred dollars. Resale looked actually pretty decent on as well. The only thing is, I'm assuming this is not how they're supposed to be. They do have the butt blown out, which I didn't see it, I won't lie, till I start cleaning them at home. So this side is patched, but this side, well, it was patched, not very well. Um, <laughs> So anyways, I may ask uh, my friend Liz, who uh, helps me, does my repair work for me. Um, hi Liz, if you're watching. I may ask her to maybe patch these better. Let me know your thoughts, Liz. Otherwise, I, maybe I could just sell them as is. I, I guess I haven't looked at like the varying conditions, like what is a more beat up pair of nudie jeans look like, but nudie jeans, if you didn't know, nudie jeans, it's a thing. All right, next is a brand I would love to find all the time. It's Beta Brand, and this brand just, you know, I feel like it's like a good, solid brand. These are a uh, petite, so they're, they're medium, and then they say S Petite. So I'm guessing, is that short petite? They don't look that short, but maybe they are. So they do make leggings and lots of other types of clothing as well, but their leggings are, I think, kind of what they're known for. It's kind of like a, dre a dressier legging is maybe how they're supposed to be. But they do make jeans as well. I suppose that we could call that a jegging. So there's that. 
Okay, I need to separate that from the nudie jeans. The nudie jeans need to go over there <laughs> if they're gonna get repaired. Okay, this, I was excited. So I did hit a bin that it was a new rotation that had come out. I was making my way, looking through it, and most people had started to kind of walk away. They were over looking through it. You know, people just go through it really quickly and then they walk away. So I went over to it and you don't usually think in your head there's still gonna be good stuff in there. Uh, yeah, there was. <laughs> this is one of the items that was in there. This is the brand Ammo, Ammo. I don't know how you pronounce it. There's like a little loose string there that I need to cut. But anyways, these, uh, I don't know what they retail for. I do know that this is an exp expensive brand. They're a size 30. They're the Easy Trouser Surplus. This is what they look like. Kind of like an olive green and yeah, maybe high rise as well. So when I saw those, I was just like, yes. And when there's one, there's two is my rule of thumb. And when there's two, there's three, there's three, there's four. And you will see as we go through this haul, I will show you some of the other pieces that were in that specific bin, if I can remember all of them, um, because there was, there was a lot of great items. All right, another piece that I found. Oh, this is a Torrid blouse. It's a size double zero, which Torrid does vanity sizing. So this would, I think maybe be a medium like for straight, do they call it straight sizing? Straight sizing, this would be a medium. I'm not sure if this was supposed to have a camisole on the inside of it or not. If it does, it's missing. So we're gonna call this BYOC, bring your own camisole. <laughs> but it is really cute, so there's that. Okay, next I have a pair of pants. Oh, okay, so this was in the bin too. So another brand that I would like to find all the time is Nili Loten or Loton. I don't know how you pronounce it. And these are, I don't know, it says 80 NL. What's the sizing? Not sure. <clears throat> oh, maybe it's here. Oh, they're a size 10. So anyways, another pair of olive green pants. Clearly, you know, a couple of things. I think that it was probably maybe from the same person. I'm gonna guess. Size 10 and the other ones were a size 30. So I think it's like the same donation, which is always exciting because that leads you to think that they're probably raw donations in that bin. And when it's raw donations, that means it hasn't gone through the store. Nobody's looked at them. They probably opened up the donation bags, you know, dumped them into the bins. And if you come across one where it's somebody who's very stylish, then you have the potential to get some really awesome and amazing items straight from their closet. And then you think to yourself, gosh, I wish I could just go over to their house and get all their things. <laughs> okay, this I think was also in that same si same bin. Um, it's the brand James Purse. It's a size two lightweight knit top. I was gonna say sweater, but it's not really a sweater. It's just a lightweight top. Now I did find a few of these in the bin. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I think I left one of them at home. One of them may have had some more staining on it, whereas I don't think this one does. This one looks like it might have like a small little flaw here at the bottom, but I'm not afraid of selling flawed items. If you're not new to my channel, you know that about me. I just make sure that I do my best to disclose it, you know, photographing, notating it, all those things. So anyways, I think I was still trying to stain treat that other one. It had like almost looks like those oil spots that you'll get sometimes on garments. I don't know what you guys use on them. I've heard of people using like Dawn dish detergent. I've been using, and this actually works kind of well, I've been using baby powder. I think some people maybe will put like flour or cornstarch or something like that. Same sort of principle. You're just essentially drying it up. So I'll put baby powder on it. I'm just like, like that. <laughs> Because I have one of those like little puffs, you know what I'm talking about? And so I'll hit it with the puff and just leave it for like a day and let it soak up. And that actually works really well. And it's kind of a low cost, low effort method. All right. This, I swear, the Athleta fleece like kick that I've been on finding this stuff at the bins is hilarious. First, I found a pair of leggings that were fleece lined. Then I found a top that would match perfectly fleece lined. And now I have found the dress. <laughs> so anyways, this is cute fleece lined mini dress. This is an older style athletic tag. The other ones were uh, newer. Sorry, there's a little hair there. Size, <laughs> size small. And it does have the little kangaroo pouch pockets, which I think are kind of fun. And then it is kind of like that scuba feeling material. I love Athleta personally, so I'm always excited to find it. It does retail for quite a bit of money. 
like I have to imagine, just new athletic dresses in general, low end is gonna probably be about $90, upwards of 150. So, you know, for athletic wear, I don't know. I don't like spending a lot on athletic wear, so there's that. Okay, next up is another one of the James Purse tops. One thing I didn't mention is that James Purse, much like Torrey, does do vanity sizing. So you'll see that this one is also marked size three. Off the top of my head, I don't know what a size three is, but I'm gonna take a guess that it's probably a medium or a large, just given the size of the garment. Um, this one looks in pretty good condition, but I said that about the last one, but it looks in pretty good condition. Uh, I did wash this and any darker colored garment, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I washed it in the pear wall, uh, black for dark, darker colored garments. I'm like, am I saying this all correctly? The pear wall detergent and it's intended, it's the black bottle <laughs> and it's intended for darker colored garments. So anything that, that's like a navy blue, a gray, a black, I'm trying to think of any darker colors, I will add a little bit of that. I'm very conservative with it. I actually did a video on it, so I'll link it somewhere around here. But it does an amazing job of taking faded black or faded garments in general and just bringing the colors back to life. No, it is not a dye. You could throw a white t-shirt in there as well and the white t-shirt would not be affected. A lot of people have questions about that. And you just wash it in a normal cycle as you would. It's magic, I don't know. There are other products out there like I think like Wool Light has a product like that. Have I tried that one? No, because I tried this and I really like it and I'm stuck on it. I have tried the Red Bottle. The Red Bottle is magical as well. If you have garments that are not darker colored, works great at reviving those. The White Bottle, I'm still on the fence. I've been saying that for about a year now. I can't fully recommend it yet. <laughs> Give me like another year and I'll probably have a solid opinion on it. Okay, moving on. Let's see what else I have. Okay, I think these are a pair of Lululemon leggings. Yes, they are. So this bin, I do remember this rotation. Oh, it looks like there's something like sticky here. I do remember this rotation did have, I think a couple of Lululemon pieces in it. And then the girl who was next to me, sorting through the bin next to me, she was also saying that she's found, she, she said to somebody else like, oh, I'm finding a bunch of Lululemon in here, which I was like, Dang it, did I miss a bunch of pieces? <laughs> so anyways, uh, here they are. There is like, I don't know if it's paint or something. It kind of feels like dried paint. Looks like there's another spot there. I did wash these, so that's why I'm saying like, I think it must be paint because there's a couple of spots here. There is some light pilling on here that does just happen with athletic wear over time. Some in the crotch area, sorry to use that word. I could like, sweater, lint shave it, whatever you want to call it, which I may do just for some of the like actual little linty spots here. Um, but I don't think that I'm going to necessarily improve the crotch area. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't like that word. Okay, this bin, where did I find this? I don't think it was in that same one, but I did wash it with the pear wall. Uh, it is an Eileen Fisher pair of jeans and these are a size, I cannot tell, they're a size six. So here they are. Just a black, gray, maybe stone wash. Would you call this a stone wash jean? I like picking up Eileen Fisher. I was just recently hanging out with a friend who visited Seattle, uh, who's also a reseller. And we were talking about how we both love selling Eileen and some people just poo poo on it. And I think we were joking saying like, yeah, like, yeah, poo poo on it. That's, that's totally fine by us because that means more for us to sell. I was gonna say sorry with the uh, Lululemon pants if there was a size on here, but I don't know where, oh yeah. Okay, so inside the pocket in the waistband, these are a size six and you will see that there is some letters and numbers around the size here. And those are the, gonna be the style numbers. So that is kind of nice in terms of looking up information on the leggings. And then I'm actually pretty sure <laughs> that these are reversible. So I didn't say that as well. In terms of the reverse of them, I don't know, they look pretty similar in condition. Maybe the crotch, <laughs> the crotch on this side actually looks a little bit better. So I don't know, maybe I'll photograph that side, but obviously I'm gonna still note the condition regardless. All right, next is a pair of, another pair of Lululemon leggings. So here they are, these ones, I don't, I think they're also reversible. 
This is kind of magical. It still has a CVS receipt in here. That's a joke. Uh, it's just the really long tags that Lululemon creates. So these are a size six and these ones are actually in a lot better condition. The C word here, <laughs> it actually looks pretty good. What is this though at the bottom? What is that? Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so these are branded. So they, it has washed off, but OTF, I know what it is because I used to be a member. It's Orange Theory Fitness. So it's an Orange Theory branded item. I mean, I suppose I could sit here and pick that off because it is kind of peeling. I might do that because <laughs> they'll probably sell for more if they don't have that. So yeah. But anyways, these are, yeah, like I said, in really nice condition. I'm, I'm pleased. I'm genuinely pleased, especially comparison to the green pair. All right, let's go to the next item. I think this is another James purse top <laughs> size three. So here it is another gray one. This person love, love themselves. Some James purse. Again, I do think that the size three must be a large, maybe an extra large possibly. Okay. Next, I have two items. What did I grab? I feel like this is going to be, I knew it, Toad & Co. Who remembers when it was called Horny Toad? Wasn't that what it was called? <laughs> so this is a size large skirt. And I was shocked when I look at, looked at their website recently at their pricing. It is more expensive than I thought this brand actually was, which makes sense why it sells kind of well. Anyway, this is a fun little summer skirt. I think a lot of people purchase their items because it's kind of active wear and I think it's also maybe considered outdoor wear. This is a size large. Great skirt for summer. Okay, what's this other item I grabbed? I think it's a Nike sweatshirt and I'm right. So here it is. So it's this acid wash Nike sweatshirt and it's a size extra small. I think I grabbed a few things just recently, I kind of been passively doing it to take them to Play-Dohs and see what I could get for them. I've done this in the past and I don't know. Yeah, I just wanted to do it again. Actually, a friend who also has a YouTube channel, her name is Melissa. I'll link her channel down below in the description. She's been doing some videos on TikTok that I had seen recently and she's been taking items to Play-Dohs and she was doing it, I think like every day. I don't know if she's still doing it every day, but anyways, They've been kind of fun to watch just to see what uh, Play-Dohs will take. So yeah, maybe this item. I don't know. I think I've grabbed this. I've grabbed some leggings recently, some t-shirts, just more bread and butter pieces because Play-Dohs really wants, and I've had them say this to me, they want items that are in the mall, like currently. Brands that are in the mall, styles that are, can be found in the mall. That's what they want. I don't know how that makes sense though, because when I go in there, I see Walmart brands, but whatever. Okay. Next up, what is this? Some sort of sweater. What is the brand? Oh, okay. This is a Garnet Hill sweater. And I do pick up Garnet Hill from time to time. Just kind of depends on the piece. But anyways, this was, I'm pretty sure it's gotta be cashmere or some sort of wool, maybe combined. <laughs> and it does have kangaroo, a really fun kangaroo pocket in the front here. Yeah, so I grabbed this, you know, depending on the material and condition. Yeah, hello, it's wool and cashmere. Perfect, ding, ding, ding. And again, this is another garment. You can tell kind of because this is how I washed this round together that I did wash with the pear wall. So regardless of the fabric, listen, I don't know if it's not supposed to be used on wool and cashmere, but your girl says I've done it and it's fine, so take that with a grain of salt. This item is new with tags. I don't know, I looked it up and I was like, is this worth picking up? And then it came home with me. So the brand is called Ren, Ren, Renoir? Ren, Renoir, I don't know what that is. It's a size medium blouse. Okay, here we go, there we go. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know, but here it is. Let me know if you've ever sold that brand. I picked it up. I'm stuck with it now. Okay, next is a Vince top. This may have been in that bin with the other nice items. But yeah, Vince top, size six. I'll be honest with you, like I've looked at this thing like eight times and thought, is there yellowing on here? Is there yellowing? It's hard to tell now, because even in my ring light, I'm like, 
is there? Is there not? I don't know. So yeah, I guess maybe once I get it under my bright lights, I'll be able to see better. But I do like picking up the brand Vince. I mean, you know, not every piece is going to be a home run, but that one's kind of fun. So we'll see. I did grab this Hugo Boss sweater and I don't know if it's shrunken. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. It is a, it says Merino super fine wool, obviously. In terms of sizing, yeah, all the size tags have been cut out. So this is like make your own sizing. I mean, I would size it as an extra small. I don't know. So sometimes you can tell if you just hold the sweater up to your ear and pull apart. If there's a lot of that like crunchy, like almost electric sounding noise to it, that can be a sign that it's a shrunken item. You can unshrink items. There's a method of like soaking the garment in, I believe it's conditioner, like hair conditioner. You soak it in hair conditioner and then you rinse that out, I believe, and then lay flat to re like to dry it. I've done it in the past. Does it work? Eh. Eh. I don't know. That's just my two cents. <laughs> eh. Kinda, maybe. I don't know. All right, next up, I don't always pick up this brand until I pick up this brand. And this is Banana Republic, actually Banana Republic Outlet because it has these three little dots underneath there. It's a size 16, so that's one of the reasons that I picked it up because it is what would be considered plus size. And then I just thought it was this really fun marigold dress. So here's what it looks like. It what do you call this? Uh, like a tulip hem? Is that what it's called? Tulip? Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Somebody needs this for like a summer wedding or something. Yeah, I, I don't know what it'll be, but they can think of something. Oh, I was gonna look for my hair clip. Now's the point in the video where the hair has to go back. Okay, let's keep going. There's a lot more. <laughs> That's to be expected if you've seen one of my hauls before. It doesn't end. All right, so this is the brand Kway. I have received this brand in liquidation in the past before. It does retail for quite a bit of money. I was surprised. It did come from Nordstrom Liquidation, so that's the store they sell it at. And it's a reversible jacket. It's like a puffer jacket. Here is what the other side looks like. Dun da da da. Pretty nice. Um, I feel like there was some discoloration on the jacket. I don't know if I got all of it out. It kind of looks like it, but again, hard to tell in my lights. Regardless, the other side of the jacket actually looks really good. So, you know, you don't have to wear the lighter side, I suppose. In terms of sizing on reversible garments, always check the pockets. That's where you're gonna find the size. This one's a size small. Okay, I gotta set that there because there's too many things stacking up. I did find a couple of fun bathing suits. Here they are. <laughs> so the first one is a Coca-Cola swimsuit. It's a one piece and yeah, there's a hair there, yuck. Uh, yeah, so here it is, real cute. And this tag looks like a Forever 21 tag. The RN number is 94981. So if you wanna look up the RN number right now, but I'll check this real quick. To look up the RN number, you go to the website rn.ftc.gov. And then you can type in that 94981. I was just trying to see, sometimes they will say like Forever 21. On the tag, yep, here it is. Blah, 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 Forever 21, it says it right there. So anyways, I still thought it was fun. I just wanted to pick it up. It's lightweight, it's summer. Somebody will look cute in that. Do check the crotch area <laughs> on swimsuits. <laughs> yeah, cause that can be a thing. <laughs> The other one that I purchased is this Budweiser swimsuit. And this one, I don't know where it was originally sold at. It, the brand is called Shinesty. Shinesty? Mm -hmm. I don't know. This one's a size medium. I don't know what I said that one is. Maybe a smaller medium. But yeah, so somebody will have fun wearing these on the boat this summer. That's where I see those, right? I don't know. <laughs> That's where I feel like it belongs. Okay, next up. Was this in the good bin? I don't think so. It's the brand All Saints, and I believe this is a men's button-down shirt. Good Lord, it's wrinkly. I don't usually steam, but I might give this one a steam. <laughs> but it's just a men's button-down shirt. I washed it. It was just sitting at the bottom of the bag, so it got that sort of treatment. Yeah, the color is like super rich. Like, look how dark the garment is. I mean, like, if it's not a testimonial for the pear wall, 
which they don't pay me. I like, let me just add that in. If I coughed up the money for wool light Sunday, maybe I would like that as well, but it's kind of like one of those, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's where I'm at in life. I have no desire to try a different brand. I probably should too, because the wool light is probably cheaper. The pair wall does cost a bit more, but I'm so conservative. Like when I tell you I do not use that much, I mean, it's like, boop, and then I'm done, so. Okay, here is a pair of Madewell jeans and they're white, which is just dangerous in general at the bins. This is the classic straight jean, a size 27, but I was gonna say they're in perfect condition, but now I'm seeing a little bit of that discoloration here. So I actually might just take these home and hit it with the grandma stain remover and see if that will take it out. I don't know, maybe there's more discoloration than, I don't know, can you tell? <laughs> If you're a bins or thrift store shopper, you know that the lighting is not so great, you know, in those stores. And so it can be really easy to see stuff like that. So yeah, with white, oops. But I'm gonna try and save them. I think I can, or I think I can definitely waste my time trying to save them. All right, next is a coat that I have no idea anything about other than I comped it. And the comps looked interesting. So. The brand is called Atsuko and it says, uh, what is this, Hunter X Hunter. So I think some sort of collab maybe. It's a size medium pullover windbreaker style jacket. On the front here, I think it says Hunter Hunter. So there's that. And then on the back is some characters. So it's actually in really nice condition. No peeling on the graphics, no cracking on the graphics. And yeah, I feel like when I saw comps for this, maybe somewhere around 30 or 40, you know, that's, I, that's why I like to pick up unique items. All right, moving on to bag two. What do we have? Okay, it's big. First item is some sort of t-shirt. What is it? I wanna see it first. Oh, okay. So I think this was a shirt that I was thinking maybe I would take to, what's it called? Plato's Closet? Maybe it will do well there. So I don't know where this was sold originally. It just says the Rolling Stones on here. It's a size large and yeah, it's just a cute little tee. It does feel like burnout material, which is, yeah, it's just a style. So if you're not familiar with that term, go ahead and look that one up. But anyway, I thought maybe that'd be something they take like cute little band tees. I'll add that to my Play-Doh's pile. I was like, oh, maybe I could take one of the swimsuits there, but I don't think they'll pay me as much as I maybe could get for it whatever. Okay, next up is another Lululemon piece and it actually has, once again, what's this called? The tag still in here. This is a size 10 and I believe it's a skirt. Yes. So it's actually really cute. It's tiered. Cute. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else do I have to say about it? It does have, the okay, the universe doesn't want me to be great. Sorry, storage is full on the phone, but moving on to the next garment is another Athleta piece. So this is a size 2X women's shirt. This is buttery soft. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I think I had a thought, uh-oh, about keeping it for myself. <gasps> this is so cute. Wait, what do the sides look like? Oh my gosh. Well, it's not the season for it, but now I really want to keep it. No, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna sell it. Anyway, it's this dark blue, yeah, buttery soft Athleta shirt. Even Athleta shirts will retail for, oh gosh, like minimum 50 bucks just for a plain old short sleeve t-shirt. Okay, this is a new brand for me, Muggsy. So they make menswear, I think. These are a size large, I think they're swim shorts because they're pretty heavily lined. Um, but yeah, I don't remember exactly what comps were <laughs> or are, but I did look them up and I thought they were interesting enough. Usually like my interesting enough is like, it's definitely gonna be above 20, if not 30, like minimum sale price. So there is that, there's my logic for that one. Okay, this one, I was digging through the bin. It's a Patagonia jacket and some people across on the other side of the bin from me were also, you know, looking, it was a fresh bin. Anyways, they saw this and they were like, meh, and tossed it aside and I was like, yoink. <laughs> I was like, okay, if you don't want it, I will definitely take it. It's a size large and it's like one of those like sweater shell materials. It does have embroidery here on it and it says driven to deliver and then 
Is that all? I think, is that all of it? No, here we go. Striker, that must be like the company name or whatever. That doesn't stop me from picking it up. I could remove the embroidery, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna sell it as is and it will be just fine. Yeah, maybe I could get more, but to be honest, when I have tried getting the embroidery out myself, it's not always been successful. And so for myself, I would prefer to not put a seam ripper in my hands. Yeah, I <laughs> don't do well with them. Okay, maybe these were an item that I thought about taking to Play-Doh. So one of the things that when I'm thinking about like, what could I take to Play-Doh's while I'm sourcing at the bins, I'm looking for lightweight items. So the lighter it is, right, the less it's going to cost me. And obviously you're gonna try and keep your costs down because places like Play-Doh's or buy, sell trade stores in general, they're not gonna pay you a ton for the stuff that you bring in. So anyway, these are a pair of Adidas leggings. These are a size large, they're arrow ready is the style. And yeah, I don't know, they're in nice condition. So, you know, whenever I'm there and I've looked at their activewear, they always have so many leggings, lots of like Fabletics, Fabletics, <laughs> Adidas, maybe even some Costco brands I feel like I've seen there. I don't know. Anyway, okay, next is, I think this is Lululemon. Not sure, yeah, there we go. So there is the little tag thingy. And then it does have these dots here at the bottom in the front. These are pretty small. I don't know what size it is because it doesn't have the tag, but I'm gonna look in all the little secret pockets. Okay, so the, the one at the waistband didn't have it. Let's check the side pocket, no. Let's check the other side pocket, no. Oh wait, this is one of those ones that has like secret pockets all around. Here we go. Okay, so the one in the very back center had it. This is a size four. And then again, the style number is just gonna be printed around those dots. It does have the adjustable waist here on the inside. And then I don't think that they're reversible, but they very well might be, I don't know to be determined on whether they're reversible. They could because they kind of look like they, maybe somebody turned them out inside out because there's a little bit of pilling right here. But given this material, I actually think if I do take the lint shaver to this, this could clean up quite nicely. I'm like, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite nicely. All right, this was just fun. It's not vintage. It's from John Galt, which is Brandy Melville, some sort of like line of Brandy Melville. And the John Galt pieces, as well as most Brandy Melville pieces, I think are just one size fits someone, <laughs> fits all, fits most, whatever you want to call it. But I just thought this was cute. Niagara Falls, Canada, embroidered, really nice embroidery here, uh, sweatshirt. So yeah, I, I grabbed it. I mean, maybe that could be a piece that I would take to Play-Doh's, but I kind of think it's cute. And I, so I want to put it in my store. Canada is the neighboring place to where I live in Washington. Um, so I just have an affinity for Canada. <laughs> okay, I've got another Lululemon piece. This is a men's piece and there's our little logo there. In terms of sizing, you can look at the inside hem and it's gonna have a lot of information here. So movement is medicine, cool. And then where's the size? Okay, I'm guessing this is the size right here. So there's one notch. So for women, one notch means a size four. I don't know what it means for men. That could mean a size small, but I'll look into it obviously. And yeah, it's in pretty good condition. For a shirt like this, the material is pretty delicate and it can snag really easily. Like I was a little bit nervous. I was like, oh, are my nails gonna pull on it? Yeah, so that can be a concern. Okay, maybe I did buy this for Plato's. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Am I, mi oh my gosh. And it's, oh no, it's not missing a button. I got worried there. Okay, it's a Zara Skort. It's corduroy. There you go, there's the short part. The buttons are here, it's just not buttoned. This is a size extra small. I do pick up Zara from time to time, but um, yeah, so this was one of those okay. times. I don't know if Play-Doh will take it because I don't know if they're gonna look at corduroy and think, oh, it's too early for fall. I did just think the color of them is really pretty, the olive green. It does kind of give fall vibes, but then on the flip side, it's also a skort. So yeah, it doesn't like, you know, you could drink a pumpkin spice latte in that, but I don't know. Okay, I was surprised 
when there were people looking through this bin, they passed on these. I was like, okay, I'll take them. They're a pair of Spanx and they're a size medium. So these are, they're like a coated, I don't know what you want to call it. I mean, it's not coated, coated canvas because I know I said coated canvas earlier. It's just like a coated material. Sometimes you'll see they do that with like denim, not necessarily Spanx, but just denim in general. So I did give these a look-see because what you want to look out for, especially with whether it's coated denim, coated leggings, whatever it is, uh, that it just, the coating will flake off in the thigh and crotch area. And so, uh, yeah, these actually didn't look too bad. I've seen like really bad ones and these look arguably really good. So yeah, I don't know. Do you like selling Spanx? Let me know. I like selling Spanx. Okay, these are another item that I picked up with the thought of Play-Dohs. They're just a pair of Adidas shorts. They're actually really cute. Like look how fun this style is. Adorable, I love this. Size, what did I say? Small, um, super lightweight. Again, that was my thought process with it. Okay, this is another Athleta piece. This is a size medium leggings. So here we go. Again, the leggings are gonna run you minimum, like new, again, probably around $90. And these are size medium. I think I said that already. They're blue, they're cute, but there's no pockets. I need a pocket legging, personally. I'm a pocket legging sort of gal. Let me know if you're a pocket person as well. I did grab this Prana men's button. What is it, button down, button up? Oof, I'm so rusty on that size medium shirt. It's actually really cute. It's like striped and then it has these like little knit balls, <laughs> which sounds really funny, but yeah, there you go. It's really lightweight, great for summertime. Next we have, what is this? Oh, Vince. So this is a Vince pullover. I'm like, is this a men's or a women's? It's a size medium. It kind of looks like a women's. I don't know, in terms of like sizing, this looks like a women's, but maybe it's a men. I don't know. The waistline looks pretty high. So that's why I'm like, I think it's a women's. But anyways, cute little Vince pullover. Fabulous. This is the part like in my recording of hauls where I start to get like a little bit loopy. So <laughs> that can be probably more or less entertaining. I don't know. This is, I believe, Lululemon. Yes. Here is the little logo sticker thing. So this one, I'm probably not going to be able to find sizing information on it because I think they ripped out all of the tags. Yeah, and I don't know where else it would be hidden on the garment, but it could be still hidden on the garment. I wasn't sure if there was fading or anything in the underarm area. Once I get it under my big bright lights, I will give it a, a closer look and we will be able to determine and I'll just note that in the listing. Okay, next is, oh, yeah, I was surprised nobody had grabbed this because this is a more expensive line of Nike. Oh, maybe, maybe that's why, I don't know. The zipper pull is kind of, I don't wanna say messed up, but I think maybe it's missing part of the zipper pull. I mean, you can still pull it. It's just, I don't, I don't know if some of it's missing, but anyways, it's a men's vest. It's Nike ACG. So here's what it looks like, it, like windbreaker type material. When I've sold the ACG line before, it typically sells for a bit more. I almost feel like the real real used to accept the ACG. So that'll be, I'm curious if they still do. This is a size extra large. Look, this is how high the pile is. <laughs> like now you're seeing that. <laughs> so anyways, I don't know, comp it, you know, do, do your own, run your own comps always when you are looking at things to pick up, but yeah, I've had good luck with it in the past, so I did pick it up again. This is a brand that I rarely to never find, and I'm actually curious if this is, if they're still in business, because I feel like this company like grew out of like the pandemic or became really popular then, and then I almost feel like maybe they had some like business problems, but maybe I'm just making this all up my head. The brand is called Outdoor Voices. So here it is. It was a really popular athletic wear brand. I don't find it, like I said, all that often at all. This is a size large windbreaker. I'm fairly certain it's a women's and it's this really pretty rose like color. 
Yeah, I, would you call that rose? This reminds me of my bedroom. My bedroom was like this color when I was a child. I'm guessing that this is one of those packable styles where you like go and like pack it all up in there. I was gonna say it feels like there's something in here, but I actually think it's, yeah, it's what I think it is. It's like the straps so that you can then like close the jacket all up. So there we go. It's a nice lightweight jacket. Oh my gosh. I need to just like not put stuff there anymore. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Next up, I have a pair of North Face pants. These are a size men's 32 and gosh, hopefully I don't regret saying it. I was like, I think they're in really good condition. No, I really think they are. I think they are, phew. Okay, so they're in really nice condition. I just got nervous about it because this style of pant, they're like lightweight. I think they're supposed to be intended for like hiking, outdoors, that sort of stuff. But oftentimes, you know, there'll be like pulls or snags or rips or whatever, because you know, somebody's been outdoors hiking in them. They get it caught on a branch, whatever. And then it just ruins the pants. So, you know, that can happen. That's a thing. Next up, we have a pair of, oh, shorts. I've talked about this brand in the past. I do like picking it up. The brand is called Bonobos. So when I've talked about them in the past, I will say that they were bought out by Walmart a number of years ago. Not sure if they're still owned by Walmart, but they were. And I think they really were known for making custom fit menswear. Now it's more mainstream. Obviously you can just buy like ready to wear items. These are a size medium and they're swim shorts. And yeah, I mean, tis the season for men's items, men's swimwear, whatever. It's hot, it's swim season. <laughs> okay, next I have a pair of, I think, oh, these are Adidas also. Another pair of Adidas leggings. So I could take these to Play-Dohs. They're actually really cute. There you can see it says Adidas all in the waistband. Here's the front of them. So again, you know, just things to like look out for is all of the applique here. Is it cracked? You know, especially if you're gonna take to a place like Play-Dohs, they probably don't want anything with cracking and that can just happen over time. Um, I don't know what size these are. They kind of look like a extra large. Yes, I was gonna say large or extra large. They're really lightweight. This could be a good item. They're actually really cute. So I'm like, maybe I should list them in my store. I don't know. You know, you tell yourself that you're gonna go to Play-Dohs and then does it actually happen? Sometimes, <laughs> you know, you have that bag that sits in your car, so especially for people who don't resell. You know, it's like you have that bag that sits in your car and you're just like, yeah, someday I'll, I'll do something with this. Okay, I have to move the rest of the items here. All right, next item is, oh, another Toad & Co piece. Here is the tag. It's printed on the inside there. Size medium, just this like mm, aquamarine colored long sleeve shirt. You know, nothing fancy. Next I have, oh my gosh, please don't fall. Okay. Oh, next is another Bonobos piece. Look at that. This almost looks like a women's shirt. And I didn't, I wasn't certain that they made women's clothing, but what do I know? This is a size small, it says slim fit. This could be a men's, but in terms of torso length, it kind of looks a little bit shorter in the way that they make women's garments. That's really soft and lightweight. I don't know what the material is. Okay, so the next item is this Free People One top, and this is a size extra small. And yeah, I don't know, it's kind of cute. It's got all these like frills here. You know, I mean, it's like a Free People extra small is most other brands small or medium. But that's what I actually like about free people is that there's, it's kind of like free sizing. So there's that. Okay, next we have, what is that? Is that a hole? I feel like I felt like a hole in here. Okay, it's the brand Junk Food. And this is a size large and I think it's, yeah, it says Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, obviously a Beatles t-shirt. I mean, it's not a picture of them, it just says, <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to get across here, but as a Beatles fan, I appreciated it. Okay, the last few items, I have a pair of Free People jeans. These are a size 25. The tag is kind of hanging off there, but I feel like that's not uncommon with some of these older Free People tags. They are distressed. It, I do believe it's intentional because it does have the raw hem here, the raw hem here, and yeah, I don't know what else to say about them. I mean, I maybe could take these to Play-Dohs also. I don't know. 
but then I kind of want to sell them. So I'm torn. Okay, next I have, oh, this is another Athleta piece. So a newer tag of Athletas, and it's just this waffle long sleeve shirt. It is a size extra small, and it's kind of this like cantaloupe color. I don't know, it's kind of cute. It's not my color, but it's somebody's, and that's all that matters. Next I have uh, a pair of shorts. Oh, these are Patagonia, size 33, men's Patagonia shorts. I don't know, nothing too exciting there. And then last but not least, I I don't know, I hemmed and hawed over purchasing this. It's the brand Maeve. They're a size small, uh, or they, it is a size small dress. I mean, it's cute, but I think it's kind of dated. It's cute, I, I don't know. Maybe somebody will want this. That's That was what was going through my head. I thought maybe somebody will want this. So that's my haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.